All right, good people, and we are back. All right. Yes. Without further ado, this morning I have with me Miss Teresa Sledge. Jackson. Um, owner operator of her own uh nonprofit. I'm going to, I'm not going to hold it up anymore because we're a little behind. I'm going to let her introduce herself, tell you all about her, where you can reach her, and, and just to start it off, and then we'll get into the conversation. Teresa, it's on you. Let's yes, how y'all doing? Um, yes, I started my nonprofit organization from, um, you know, um, inspired me when I was working with um, Sasha Bruce as a counselor, team counselor, and the young ladies there, you know, reminded me of me as I was a young girl growing up. So I was like, well, what can I do, you know, to change this? Because it's rough with our sisters out here. Some of us, we don't have mm -hmm. their big sister or some of the moms. They, they work to try to pay the bills and they don't have really that much time to point to the, some of the kids. So I started my, non, 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 my non-profit organization in 2014. And uh, with that said, um, I met my goddaughter, Angel. Yes. <laughs> yes, they call her Angel for a reason. Yes. Because mm -hmm. she's an angel. I met her through... Um, Better days, Mr. Um, what's his name? Shed, 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 Shed brother Shed, <clears throat> and also they was um, they was giving, they was they was giving back downtown where we feed the homeless at, and so happened I heard them saying that um, they wanted to um do something special for Angel because they was bullying her in school because of her um appearance. And so I was like, um, I talked to my one of my sister, her name Tanya, taking charge. She does hair. So I'm like, how can I get in touch with, um, you know, the young lady or whoever would be sponsored for us? She gave me the information. And ever since then, she was, this was when she was 15. She's mm -hmm. 18. <laughs> yeah, so she's the, um, the, she's the second um, young lady that's on board. My, my granddaughter, that's 11, Messiah Stokely. She's the first one. Um, a girl's with the world, but she's the older one, Angel. Yes. And what Angel does she's oh my god she is very you know um expiring she sent texts out every morning mom Beautiful. um no mm -hmm. weapon formed against you shall prosper Beautiful. i mean she just i've been in her life and she's been in my life god spoken through you know brothers another brother and another sister so angel will be graduating this year and going to the prom whoop, whoop. on a row and whoop. i must say shout out to my niece giovanni no, little G and the mom, they did uh, Santa prom, Santa, or Santa prom, mm -hmm. and they will be responsible for everything the angel need. Wow, that's so, amazing. So, you know, that's just how God works, and I just want to give a shout out to, you know, um, Sister Javonchi Smith and also little G, my niece, uh, for just, you know, choosing her and, you know, loving up on her because right. we have to pull together as big sisters to help the little sisters because it's not fair, you know, for us to be bullying each other, even with the males too. So, that's what my nonprofit do. We show love, mm -hmm. and also uh, with that to say, that I'm an author as well, cause I was one of, I was a young, I was young, at once upon a time, and you know, and I had sisters to um. I had a story. You had a story. A story that helped me along my way, you know. So, you know, and I just want to just give back to the community and the young sisters, the families, and the brothers. We have uh, men as well under my umbrella, girls rule the world. My brother Jeffrey Sledge, um, yeah. is. Um, a man don't eat, a man don't work. It's called consignment for men. Right. So that's what Girls Rule the World does. We show love. I have a team um, that's that's on that's on board that just you know have a, a loving heart just as well as mine. Sister Pat Booker, Sister Creta, Sister Johnson, Sister So So, um, Lawan. We have Sister. Tijuana Tucker as well, you know, um, just so many. If I left anybody out, please don't charge it to my heart. And um, I must say, the leader Scott, um, Tamika Goom. It's so many of us that you know just point to each other, and we don't have no money far as grants and none that we come out our pocket. And it's from the heart, you know. So well, that's what girls would well do. I'm gonna give it back to my brother Mike. You, you know, let me tell you something. I I love it. You, you have a lot to say because you're doing a lot. And yes. one thing about you, you always got a project, always got a hustle. But your, your hustle, um, it pretty much remains the same, though, if, if I may uh, um, uh, characterize it. 
you have been helping people since we've been kids. You know, I'm saying, and that is like that's a special thing. That's that's just in you. Yes. But who influenced you? initially to be that way i mean i know you saw a lot of things but did you see any representative samples in in your community that kind of like guided you and how you were going to orchestrate this whole thing yes actually um i must give a shout out to mother love jennifer gibbs right um she seen something in me years ago when she um took upon my oldest daughter jakia as her tutor her tutor in school when they said my daughter couldn't read on a certain level, but Miss Jennifer Gibbs, Mother Love, she said, "Oh no, she just need that one on one." And from there, after she took on the daughter Jakia, she said, "I need." Hold on a second, yeah, man. Yes. Uh, 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 we have a little technical difficulty, people. If you technical can't talk difficulty. Te te <laughs> well, technical. Oh, oh, okay. All yes. Right. AKA Mother Love, Jennifer Gibbs. She said, I want you, I see something in you. What you gonna do? I had dropped out of school, ninth grade. And mm -hmm. she encouraged me to go back to school. I went back to school at 39, got my high school diploma. Right. And I'ma tell you how God just worked. It just doors was been open. I got my did my nonprofit with my first home. I mean it just yeah, been God just been working. So I'm still working. So, you know, um, with that said, I work for God. You know what I'm saying? Godly love. And, you know, if anyone know me, like my brother Mike said, I've been doing this. Didn't even recognize I was doing this when we was younger. And it's, you know, that's just my heart. Right. Well, you know, a lot of things that, you know, God puts in our path. We don't, we don't necessarily realize it when we're doing the good yeah. and we're walking the walk. Yeah. We just kind of like do it and... um. I don't know. I think that that's sometimes that's best, you know, you know, because yeah. like when we're, we're unaware of the obstacles that we might face or any of the hardships, you know, we just, yeah, okay. we're just living, you know <laughs> yeah. what I'm saying? We're not thinking about the business right. of where things are going to come it. from. <laughs> we just doing stuff, you know, yes. and, and that's a beautiful thing because that's, you know, your heart is already into it and, and, and that's what it's about. Yeah. So like for girls out there, what advice could you give girls out there who want to kind of like emulate you? You know what I'm saying? You're a fashionista, and she has been since uh, childhood. Yeah. Um, you're an inspirer, you know, oh, a yes. great communicator. Um, a lot of girls would probably like to develop those skills, would like, like to be like you. How, how can you um, tell them to attach? What resources are out there uh, besides yourself? Yourself is, is one, but yeah. besides yourself, how would they get started at that? First, first and foremost, I say, you know, build your relationship with God. And, you know, because most of us, we say that um, we want to do this, we want to do that. We don't have the money. When my income tax come or when I get paid, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. Let me tell you, if you... If you have a relationship with God, he will put people in place. That is will open truth. doors where no man or no woman could. So first and foremost, I get shout out to my father, God. He the one helped me and put the people in my place, in place to help me navigate. That's all I can say. Be true to yourself and keep God first. Pray on it. And start moving. Don't worry about and what you don't moving. have. Put you know? one foot in front of the other. That's right. You got to get God something to work with. Let me tell you that. There it is. That's the key. Let me, can, let me interrupt you for a second here, right? There is one general theme that uh, has been resonated on this show over and over again, time and time again. And that is that each person that has come up here it, with their particular stories has pretty much said the same thing. When times get tough, you just got to keep finding a way to put one foot in front of the other and make progress. That is, is what it's about. God, let God handle your battles. Yes. We got have so many technical difficulties. And we got some technical my, difficulties. I, we got That's my new right. technicians. My daughter is back there. She's a brand new technician, y'all. So, you know, she's six. So That's please forgive Starting them all. That's right. At, at, at six years old. Yeah, at six years old. She's she's learning the business behind mm -hmm. the cameras. That's where the money is. That's what daddy wanted to be. Where, That's where right. the money is. Not necessarily all the objectivity or what have you. Mm -hmm. What a beautiful self. Yes, yes. Uh oh, there is my partner from the hotel <laughs> room. My Facebook <laughs> wife. <laughs> she always looking so blessed. She be, that's all she do now. Skype in from exotic places and what That's right. That's what we do, Queens, right? Fruit, fruit cups, fruit drinks. <laughs> you know? Yeah. 
Yeah. Send me Send one. Me. Can you? Up there, um, where I used to pass out condoms at night. Oh my god, okay, Vi- volume up on this, okay. <laughs> and, and I just want to say, I commend you, and Angel, you look so beautiful. Thank yes. you, yes, yes, she is. Is fabulous. Yes, yes, she is. What's, she, what's that on? Um, and I just want to commend you, my sister, for the work that you're doing in the community, and also the part where you say you don't do it out of your pocket. I ran a non profit for a long time out of my pocket because because it was in my heart. Yes. So when you do what you do, you're going to get what you get. Trust yes. Me. Amen. I received that, sister. That see what you're doing. And by the way, if you have a nonprofit, I'm a grant writer, so I can help out in any way that I can. Hold on. A master grant writer. I need a grant writer. She's a master okay, grant writer. Look, I ain't going to be your full time grant writer. I'm going to write you a shell grant, and you can do the rest yourself. Okay. Uh, you I received that. Giving it. That's my gift giving back to oh. you guys. Oh. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. And you are right. The, the, father of the Father, our Creator, is the one that gives us. He said every good and perfect gift comes from Him. Yes. So you are actually walking in the calling and the anointing that He has given you. Most ministry is not in behind a pulpit. It's in the streets. Yeah. You know, Amen to that. Life of Christ. This ain't a religious show. Right. Christ walked amongst the people. Amen. And so we can't get them out if we're not walking amongst them. That's right. Mm-hmm. Right. Yes. Hello. That's pretty much the secret to. You. I, I really applaud you in the work that you're doing. Thank you, my sister. Thank you. Well, mm-hmm. that's pretty much what I do. I go out into the community. If if it's that's not real talk, real yes. talk. If it's, it, I mean, you and I see each other. Yes. So like, we know where we be. Yes. Exactly. Okay. And that's out in the community. Yes. Um, one of the things that you, you know uh, about what I do that I love so much is touching people. The mm-hmm. intimate relationship that we gain when we out there talking. Yes. And she has many conversations too. I see it. They, they wrap her up. They talk about her business. She talks about what she got going on. It's touching the people. Yes. And actually, you know, the real people like life. right there. You real. right there interacting with them hands on. You as they mm-hmm. say on TV, real time. In real, real time. time. Real yeah. time. Yeah. That's how you build relationships. When I mean, you hands on, and they, they'll know who they can call. It's like you're the go-to person. Yes. When they see you, whatever they're dealing with, they know that you have a real listening ear and a real caring heart. It's yes. not, oh, let me hurry up because i got to go do this. They know that right. you actually are really about the people and about Caring. the community. Caring. Yes, yes. And people can tell when you're faking. They and, can tell when you're uh, faking. Yeah, oh, yeah, okay. They okay. can tell when you're not about it. They can tell when you're not real. They can tell when yes. you're not, you know, it, you, you're not genuine. Mm-hmm. And yeah. uh, a lot of, let me explain something to people out there, for those of you who want to start your own product, project, people pick up on your energy. Yes. If you're in addition to genuine person, if something, if you're not confident, if you're not feeling good about what it is you're doing, people will pick up on that. And unfortunately, it will, that message will translate over probably harder than what you're saying because yes. people pay attention to your energy. They feel it. Yes. And if I may, I want to go back to something. You picked up your book and you talked about being an author, but you didn't discuss with the people exactly what your book is about. So okay. tell us about what your book is really about. And so the camera got the engineer to kind of put it up a little bit okay. so everybody can see. I need to put up there. <clears throat> this one. I hold it up and you talk about it. Basically, my book is about me growing up in a war eight southeast and how the struggles I overcame and how I provided for my family um, with on a monthly income, which was called welfare and food stamps. Right. So my story is the story that's in my book is telling about how I struggle, but my struggles turn my pain turn into what what's, what they say after that my purpose. My pain turned into purpose. Mm-hmm. Right. Come on now. Yeah, so let me share something with you. No matter where you at in life, you know, I don't care how old you how old you are or is. Okay. Let's get let's get the Go back to school. I know. <laughs> go back to school to get the education because let me tell you something. If I would have did it a long time ago, like would have listened to what my mom said, I would be, you know, um, Further gone, further along. Exactly. Yeah. But it's okay because God said it don't matter how old you are. But guess what? Everything is how you feel. That's you right. Right. I tell people all the time, my myth turned into my message and my message created a masterpiece. Yes. Okay. Hello. There That's it, it right there. So you are right where you're supposed to be in this season that God 
Amen. Amen. Absolutely. Exactly. Right. I received that. Because it's true. Yes. Because everybody, yes. you, you're not ready for all, you know. You're you right. Because I ready wasn't ready. It. You're right. Because right now, as today, as we speak, and sister, what you just said, you hit the nail on, bam. Bam. Just yeah. like that. And That's it. Hey. You, yes. You, you just can't believe that you were the only person she had. I know, right? Right? I mean, Mother Love been around for a long, long time. time. I mean, everything's been passed around. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Always have been a pillar of the community. Yes. Helping people out in the community, and she didn't care what walk sure. of life you were in. Right. Ooh, you better say it. That's what she said to Come me. She now. said that I see something you don't care. Which what they say? Cause they said I can do this. I can read. I can write. I can. I said I'm an author. Won't God do it? Won't God, God do said it in me. And guess what? He guess who used those ones that they said they right. can't or right. they and they not gonna do this. Guess what? God said no. That's my child. That's I'm right. gonna put you you like black diamond shine like a diamond. Guess what? He shine me. I was in the well, rough. Well, let me hit you, you you folks out there um, in the TV land and radio land. Um, if if you have some kind of limitations where it comes down to uh, reading, writing, even, even arithmetic, anything, there are people out here who will help you. Yes. There are actually people who will listen to you talk about You can talk about it, record it, and there was somebody out here who will transpose that for you I and turn it into right book form. Right now, I'm in my hotel room finishing somebody else's book because I had a publishing company. And the woman, she voiced me for a second and she said, so many lanes to get money. So many lanes. She can't read or write. It's just that she wanted to put it in a place where it's good. And so with your story, I am so excited about seeing where it's going to go, seeing your book tours and stuff like that. Because we got some couple of book tours coming up, and I'd like to talk to you about that. You may be interested. Yes, definitely. Let me share something else with you. I'm working on my second book, and I need. I was looking for um, a, another publisher. So okay. I want to um I want definitely reach out to you my sister God is God is connecting you know and let me let me thank you Father God yeah it, you know? it, it's it, it's his work in motion and sometimes it's kind of like it, it's it's amazing it's overwhelming to see somebody just reach out and help you I mean that's what she does that's what I do we do this all the time can you clear that up a little bit for me give them give me some more resolution on that that yeah, um, the name of the book. yeah the name yeah. The name is spreading the love, running on empty, and receiving a little. Well, he showed the book, but it was very blurry that time. I, I like. And to I'm do on it back and give you a little that's something. Probably because of the shine. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. gonna take care of it though. It's a gloss finish. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yes. It's a gloss finish, and that way sometimes it will do that. Yeah. Camera. Yes, and in the diamond, that's where um all the neighborhoods I grew up in, and I guess what I supersede all of that and. Now and I reach back in my communities. I never forget where I came from. Right, but all of these influence, all of those neighborhoods, um, help to mold you. Yeah, different experiences, the pressures of that neighborhood. This, this is what kind of like brings it full circle to me. This is a diamond, right? Yes. A diamond is created by pressure. Yeah. Right. Those neighborhoods that you lived in were nothing but pressure. And this is what created the diamond. I mean, I'm sure that yes. I'm not sure if you initially intended for that to be like this. Yes, I did. But and that is the, there. Therein lies the brilliance in what you did. Yes. Because the pressure of these neighborhoods created the diamond that you are, and the diamond of the work, the work that you're doing. Yes. You know, yes. fully encompassed. What you were saying, my sister? We got we had we had an angel there, and then I didn't get the guest name. Um, this other Oh, we we about to hold on. We about to go on to that, Andre. You about to she's take over the show all the way from Atlanta. Can I say hey, one thing? Give me a chance to go to break. Come on, get, put your A over one eye. And sit it together. Come on, something. She usually Skype me in with one eye. I'm not excited up in here. I'm just saying. Yes. Can I say one thing before we go to Angel and my um designer? Yes. I must shout out this sister Tina Grimes. Let me tell you, if you need help with a proposal, um. Um, let me say business, non taxes, nonprofits. She guess what? She'll put you on a um okay. on a, she'll put you on a payment plan, but she down to earth and she gonna give it to you in a row and she's gonna keep it one hundred with you. Mm -hmm. She gonna take you where you wanna go at. She the one she helped me through my struggles with my nonprofit. Wow. Shout out to Tina Grimes. Yes. 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 Shout out to Tina
Tina Grimes. Tina, Tina Grimes. Grimes. Shout that name. Ooh, well, goodness. Damn, that ain't that an endorsement? Let me tell you, when you do good work out here, when you've done something good for somebody, you don't even have to pay for a commercial, man. Somebody will holler your name out. Yeah. And that right there is worth more than a million dollars worth yes, of promotional material. Home. Trust me. When somebody else is hollering out your name like yes, that. Yes, I must say, Tina And she Grimes. said it over and over again. I like that. Yes. We're going to go to break right now. And when we come back, we're going to see what the beautiful girl over on the end All is right. talking about. <laughs> yes. That stylist down there. Yes, it's She got my design. A, 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 a cute little move ring on. We're going to talk about all that. You know, I love yes. this. All right, we're going to go to break right now. Andre, you staying with us, right? I'm here. I'm uh, here. Okay. Get your hair over one eye. When we come back, can we get it over one eye? <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> she skypes in, you know. This, she, That's why right, sister. Do, ah, do that smirk. Like, yeah, yeah, it's me. All right. It's, it's, let's take it to break. Mikhail, you ready? Take us to break, sweetie. All right. Yes, yeah. Won't let you drown on that boat Put my hope in Hashem, the one that spoke to the wind Defend me from my enemies Every knee they even the bend Snatched me out, I was in the sin Gave my life so I could live again All praise I get him In the end, we finna win Light it there in my nighttime Jesus Christ in my lifeline I don't know who they serve that, That's my word, they God ain't like mine With me in the valley low Won't let you drown on that boat Put my hope in Hashem, the one that spoke to the wind Defend me from my enemies Every need is in the bend Snatched me out, I was in the sin Gave my life so I could live again All praise I get him In the end, we finna win Light it there in my nighttime Jesus Christ in my lifeline I don't know who they serve that, That's my word, they God ain't like mine With me in the valley low Won't let you drown on that boat Put my hope in Hashem, the one that spoke to the wind Defend me from my enemies Every knee they even the bend Snatched me out, I was in the sin Gave my life so I could live again All praise I get him In the end, we finna win Light it there in my nighttime Jesus Christ in my lifeline I don't know who they serve that, That's my word, they God ain't like mine With me in the valley low Won't let you drown on that boat Put my hope in Hashem, the one that spoke to 
to the wind. Defend me from my enemies. Every knee they in the bend. Snatch me out, I was in the sin. Gave my life so I could live again. All praise I get him. In the end, we finna win. Light a day at my nighttime. Jesus Christ in my lifeline. I don't know who they serve. That, that's my word they got ain't like mine. All right, and we are, we are, we are, we are back. My um good friend, uh, Brown Prophet, uh, owner and uh, operator, um, has pretty much, you know, we, we covered the first part of the show with her, but she brought friends, and we're going to let them speak. So I'm, I'm going to step back for a second, and I'm going to let Teresa work her way into these next beautiful two young ladies, and tell us what they all about, what they got going on. Well, yes, I want to um, introduce my goddaughter, my daughter, Angel. Yeah. Um, she's... Just um, everyone know her from um, girls who the world. Me and her doing things she and stuff together. With you. She goes I everything with me. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna let her speak on um, about me and her relationship. Then we are gonna go to my designer, Tawana Tucker. So right. Angel, it's you have the floor, sweetie. <laughs> go ahead. Tell us all about it, Angel. Don't be shy. Uh huh. Come um, on. Well, you know my godmother. She's like she's a cool person to hang around with. Um, Take your time uh -huh. and slow um, down. She told me a lot. Like I knew, a, I knew a lot about her. And like when I'm going through something or if I like, if I can't talk to nobody, she like the person got to like explain my feelings to or all that. And then like if I need her, she'll be she, she's like on the road. She'll be like, daughter, you need anything? I'm like, yeah. She's like, what you need? I'm like, I need this, I need that. And if I don't got it, she's like there for me. And, I, and that's why I, I love her for that. And I appreciate her for knowing she gone. Hey, you girl. know, wow. Yeah. That's beautiful, Angel. Yeah. So, <laughs> like, uh, tell us about this anarchy. You're, you're the anarchist of fashion. Tell us about that, girl. <laughs> Ring the alarm. <laughs> <laughs> and say that somebody know I, the alarm has been rung. So, uh, <laughs> tell us what the anarchist of... Of, of fashion is all about what you I, mean, girl. You upsetting the world with I what you do. I can tell you a little bit about that. Because okay, go ahead. <laughs> basically, it's a because everyone always asking Teresa, where you get this from? Oh, you know how I dress, you know, different. Mm -hmm. And um, it's it's not no fashion show. It's what it is. Right. And my designer Tawana Tucker, she designed my clothes. So I'm gonna shift the weight over to. Tijuana. Oh, Tip Tawana Tucker. Tijuana is her God giving her birth giving government joint. Okay, Tijuana. Well, tell us all about it. Okay. Okay. Um, hi everyone. I'm Tijuana Hello. Tucker, and I don't consider myself a fashion designer mm -hmm. because that um, that's not that doesn't um, introduce who I am. Okay. Because we don't do fashion shows. We show fashion. Okay. And everything that I design is one of a kind. Right. Um, years ago, um, at my home, I wasn't working. And I've always been a person to dress really unique. So I heard God's voice say, buy a sewing machine. So real quick, I bought a sewing machine. I didn't know how to sew. I didn't know how to thread it. And I think I may have took three sewing machines back to the store. And then the fourth time I got it, I began to um, take clothing that I had in the house and would just take them apart and add other legs and arms to them. But, um, and then it just turned into... Um, what God wanted it to turn into a lot of times people you are perceived by what you have on um, and I always saw myself as unique and different but the day that I laid eyes on Teresa <laughs> okay. mm. that, that, that said it for itself because of the angle that I come from with fashion and other people just but when you saw her wasn't she wasn't she just like the perfect walking model Teresa <laughs> yes. when I saw well Teresa um, actually I met Teresa through her daughter mm. Kia okay right um and Who is she, a fashionista as well? That, yeah. And on and in that order, like okay. mother, like daughter. Right. 
So, but what, what I saw with fashion when um, Teresa, I'm just speeding it up uh, for time's sake, but when Teresa, she started uh, purchasing items from me, um, I think that she just, some people buy clothes and they can wear them, mm -hmm. but Teresa, when she put the garments on, I mean, they speak for itself. Right. I mean... Like the face, the walk, the I can look, truly. She everything. brings it to life. She yes. gives it life. Yes. So that kind of helped me. Um, at first, I felt that I wasn't on this earth by the stuff that I designed. But when I saw Teresa and she began to wear the garments and everywhere she went, she was always on point. Mm -hmm. And my phone would be ringing. Oh, you did this young lady Teresa clothes. Right. So it's it's just it's just been an experience ever since. Mm -hmm. Um and I just can't wait uh to see what, what Teresa does with this because she is she is just well, an she, amazing person. I think that she's doing exactly what she needs to do. And that is keep shining, mm -hmm. keep growing, mm -hmm. keep giving keep loving and just keep putting one foot in front of the other you know I, I just wanted to mention that same that voice that spoke to you when you were you know had your stuff together and you were you know you needed to get that sewing machine God said get a sewing machine I think that's the same voice that came to me and said last summer when I needed some break said, and, and God came to me and said get a lawnmower you know, uh, I, I, get you a lawnmower why? I got two yeah, <laughs> the same voice but sometimes inspiration will come to us and you know, it, it I consider it to be a divine some people call it your internal no, I I, I call it God like what you call it. It's mm -hmm. speaking to you, telling you but the next steps and you just kinda like you have to be open to listen and grow and it will happen. You know, I just let me let me uh, also I wanted to announce uh yeah, because I haven't done this enough um on the show. The show is at the Rise Center on MLK at the on the grounds of uh, Saint Elizabeth. Now I don't know how many of you have uh, got had an opportunity to go up on Saint Elizabeth's grounds and check out a show, but it is absolutely fantastic. I am partners uh, with a young man by the name of Tony Parks, and at the top there are really small letters, which is not right. Uh, but I am not a graphic designer, and I, but I should have made that a little bigger there. Um, he is a promoter and a entrepreneur himself. And this year, one of the things that I'm really going to start doing is helping other comedians' projects win. Now, I, I, I don't know if, uh, you know if everybody's into you know, uh, just helping people in a way that not, doesn't necessarily benefit you in, you know, in the greatest way. But I think communally, this helps us because there's a stigma out there that says that black people, black people, black men can't work together. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna break down that. I'm gonna break down that that, that myth. Yeah. You know, we we need to stop that. Black brothers can and have and will work together yes. successfully for many decades, for the eternally. That's a myth. It's a lie. Exactly. It's a lie. We work together they all the time. About black people. Yeah. They do that. They say that, Andre. Yeah. And that's yes, it's do. a damn shame because it's it's a lie and it's it's propaganda it's a it's spin and it's something that needs to stop in our community exactly. and, and and we need to be truth we need to be myth busters okay okay yeah, yeah in our neighborhood because like we have we don't have to worry about the Russians you know we got people that are right here, right here. disseminating information in our own community right that is poisonous to our existence yeah. and we have to weed it out we're the, we're, we're the gatekeepers as far yes. as I'm concerned you I, know I think with that said to piggyback on that yeah that's why I got the word <coughs> spreading the love there it is. You know, because we have to spread the love. Because God say that help your brother or sister. And that was Jesus. And let me love. tell you, he going to make sure you be all right. Right. You have one, two, three, four people. You be next thing you know. You be like, oh, my God. That's why I say if you have a relationship with God, because God is love. And if you have a brother or sister, he going to take care of the rest. But you got to give him something to start with. Meaning that 
get a relationship with him first. Because guess what? He the control of everything. Now, now I know everybody. Now, Andre's touched on this earlier. This is not a religious show. Okay? But we have to deal with the way things really are. We were yes. made in God's image. So we're going to talk about God because we are God-like creatures. Yes. And we need to live more like Christ. We need to, we need yeah. to do these exactly. things in order to help. Christ-like. basically, and if you want to go on that note, you know, he wasn't uh, one of those people that was, um, he wasn't a religious person. He was a Christian. Yeah. He was a walker. You better say it. Well, he was a, he was a talker too. He, he just... <laughs> Last days of time, yes. that we operate in that manner because a lot of times you will miss your blessings yes. by just being selfish. Right. Mm. Ooh, can, I, can I speak on selfish, right quick, brother? Say it. <laughs> yeah, okay, That's on selfish. Able. Let me share this. I got a phone call from Sister Javonchi Smith. We call her G, Miss G. She was like, Sis, um, when are you going to do your fashion show? When are you going to do something for you? Because you always connecting or connecting other people. When are you going to do something for Teresa? Right. Mm -hmm. She said, you the male DC. I said, I ain't no male DC. She said, when you going to do something? Then I got another phone call from the designer. Wait, on that note, mm -hmm. I, I believe you can run for council. <laughs> Boy, <laughs> hey, I, I believe just as many people know you as they know Trey on. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to leave that right there. Because right. I like touching my people. I don't want to have to, you know, all that crazy stuff that they doing in the politics. But yeah. then I got a phone call from... Tijuana talking like, um, Teresa, when you going to um, do your fashion show? Because God spoke to me. I just got to tell you this. She said, and I'll be, i design whatever she designed and all. So I just started thinking. I was like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. I said, it's going to be done. On March the 7th, all right. it's my brother's birthday. My, uh -oh. my yeah. mom's birthday. Ooh, oh, no, mom. he's deceased. Rico Sledge. My mom's birthday is the all day right. before that. Mine's 11. So I said, in honor of my brother, I'm going to. Show some love. Do my fashion show. Honor my mother for being the woman that, the, 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 the let me see, super woman that my mom is. And I must shout out how God spoke in my spirit. All right. Look, I put a date out there. I'm like, I don't know how I'm going to do this, but I'm going to do it. God said, call Giovanni Smith. Call Tawana Tucker. Call G. I call her G. I said, sis, um... I need you to help me get my show together. All right, what, what, what you want? What you need? When you want me? What? All right, tell me what day. Told her what day. Her and her daughter, vicious, asked her, what do I need? To, how much do I need to pay her? She said, sis, nothing. I just want to make this happen for you because you do so much for everybody else. Wow. But you know, that's again, that's again, it's called, you know, as long as the earth remains, seed time and harvest. So you sow a lot of seed and then you get ready to reap the harvest. And okay. That's just how it is. Yes. That's how it is. Seed time and harvest. All the seeds you sow, you yes. will, there will always be a harvest oh, from the good seeds that you sow on good soil. That's true. Mm -hmm. I received that, and all the proceeds, I, the proceeds are going to make it prom and graduation possible. Meaning that the, the um, parents that's on a fixed income in War Eight, War Seven, wherever they at, I'm going to donate the money that that they. So into my fashion show, I'm donated back into my community to help these brothers and sisters to graduate and to have the proper clothing for their graduation. And, and, and what, is, what, is, what, is, what does this do? Go ahead. 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 Go <laughs> Call it into existence. She, uh, she is not the first one. You know, she just, uh, Sister Sledge is not the first one. Uh, Angel is not the second one. And there's a whole lot getting ready to come as a direct result. Mm -hmm. So we need to know mm -hmm. where she went. Because I don't wear clothes like everybody else wears. Y'all ain't probably mm -hmm. going to perform faster. I still preach when I have to. But I have a different kind of style. And I don't like to see what everybody else wearing either. Yeah. So okay. it's going to be more to come. And more like me and my daughter just learned how to sew. So I, I'm hoping that she's watching and be inspired right. by you. Yes. Right. So tell us when we can reach you at because I want to make sure that, you know, you get your just due was due to you coming as a direct result right. of seeing and sewing. It's just a joke. Okay. Um, Go ahead. No. Well, I can be reached on Facebook. Um, that's, that's what I'm currently using. 
Because mm-hmm. right now my cup is running over. And most people most people know me. Um, I grew up in Clayters, so I've been in this area okay. all my life. Did you used to come down to Barnett's? Everywhere. You used to I come mean, down to Barnett? Everywhere. I used to play for Chance Man uh, uh, yes, back in the right. day. <laughs> Saturday night. Every yeah. Saturday. Play church. And I used to come down to Ose in the summertime. Yeah, Ose. And, and, and Ose. tear it up down there. <laughs> yeah. They're right down the street, down the hill from Donnie. 58. Yeah, 58 yeah, and, and Clay Church. Stumping grounds. But yes. But, well, um, and um, well, um, woman of God, I yeah. would love to... um share some information with you um offline but actually yes. um it's it's not about me we're here um for Teresa but mm-hmm. I actually am an apostle and a prophet. All right now. and um being in the church world and wearing the clothes that I wear and I was like okay God I know you're calling me to something and he said that you're a prophet in the marketplace. Mm, amen. Mm. So that's what kind of um, I started reading up a little more on Jesus and what he did. He went out, and like you were saying earlier, everybody's pulpit is not in the church. Really, is where I found mine um, in fashion, right? Because I know everything that you put on, it it can change who you are, and it can change mm-hmm. the look, right, and the perception, right. Of who you are, and that every piece of clothes that I touch, I believe healing is in the clothes. Okay. I believe wow. that deliverance. So right, okay, because we're running out of time. Um, Let's go ahead. It's Tawana Tucker, and I'm going to have um have um Mike to send it to you personally, but yeah. I can be reached on um Facebook, and it's Tawana Tucker. Um, Tell them how to spell it. Okay, spell, spell it out. It's T I A W A N A. And my last name, my shotgun name is Tucker. That's the marriage name. Okay. Um, that's T U C K E R. So most people that be looking for me, they're looking for Tawana Home. Oh. But it's actually. Tawana Tucker. So, so thank you. So you say the shotgun name. Oh, yeah, that's that's. Tucker. That's how he got you to the altar with the gun. He got you to the altar with the gun. <laughs> that was a heck of a wedding day. I needed to beat it. I, I'm sorry. Oh, so, okay, so with Angel, where can they get you at? Angel, all the young people, and people that want to follow. Do your godmother. Do my godmother. Where can they be? Do my godmother. And my name and what's the what you have on? What's my name? Teresa Jackson. Oh, Teresa, Teresa Sledge Jackson. Yeah. Everybody know me from She's Sledge. Nervous. The Bravo says Sledge. <laughs> Where are you? Come on. I, 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 I Take know. your time. <laughs> Teresa Jackson. Teresa Jackson. Girls rule the world. Girls rule the world. Okay. My number? Beautiful. 202 445 Reach me directly. Call me. You don't have to email me. Please do not Beautiful. inbox me. Just call me because I'm old school. Blow her phone up. Okay. Please blow my phone up. Yes. And if you need help with your graduation, your prom, your dues, keep right okay. here Shout for you. Girls Rule the World. We are here. My team, they have a big heart just like I do. So. And, and, and this isn't all about, let, let, let's get something clear here. Okay. We do nonprofit. We do a lot of charity work. But this woman is also for hire. If you want to spruce up your prom and you have money, Yes, I'm a stylist. Pay for her, ser- her services. She's yes. a stylist. She will make your, your a prom, a dance. Those are things that will be there for to the end of your life. The photographs, yes. the videos, and you want that to be right. So any of you guys out there in, in you know Radio Land, uh, uh, YouTube Land that are watching that have money and you want to send your children off in style, you want it to be memorable. Call Miss Ledge up. Call these people up right here and let them work their magic in your life. Yes. Definitely. Definitely. And also, sister, while you on um <coughs> while you on, can I um ask you my goal is this year we reached out to Girls Rock and we know they have um they always have honoring every year. So we reached out to them for two years straight, my whole team, to the main office, to backstage, to everything. They haven't reached back to us yet, and my goal is to take my take Angel and a couple of girls to their 
honoring. So how could we reach out to them? We don't wrote letters and everything. Um, I, I can talk to you offline about that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. To Black Girls Rock. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And um, okay. I appreciate I'm that. Okay, and also right. um, another sister that turned that um, had um introduced me to God. I must shout out her name. My daughter's Godmother Tanya Green Pears. She used to get on me about I need to stop running the street. I need to get with God. I need to go to church. I need to join some church. And I thank her right now today because God is so good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, and one of the reasons why. Travel quite a bit, but I'll be in New she York. Going, going, going. For, for our movie, my movie premiere is in New York on that day. Oh, but I definitely, I definitely, definitely was praying the word because everybody can't go to New York, so they can't go to yes. New York. Yes, okay, here we go. Congratulations, congratulations. There we go. There we go. Yes, so I applaud you guys. Appreciate everything that you're doing. To me, I feel like this was one of the most touching shows that I watched. I have a nonprofit um, that's with children with special needs, and um, average youth. So I really, really applaud all the work that you guys are doing in this community. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. And it's one of the most impoverished areas. You know, it's it's where the need is greatest. You have you know you have uh, people that are on drugs. You have people in financial difficulties. Mm -hmm. Psychological yeah. difficulties, and we got to support that. And especially, yeah. we have to support this mental ill. Oh my! The mental mentally ill. ill. Yeah. The mentally yeah. illness. Yeah. Mental oh, illness is running yeah. rapid. Yeah. And yeah. let me tell you something. Before a year ago, I'm a, I'm gonna be honest with you. Before a year, year and a half ago, I was you know I was oblivious to the state of mental illness in our city. I had no. I had no clue. And I mean, I see crazy people. We just call them crazy. crazy. That's what we call them, right? Exactly. Yeah. We just say, man, they crazy. That, that person yeah. wild or okay. this person got this issue. But the whole time they were they, they suffering from, from all depression. kinds of, uh, yeah. of ailments. Yes. It has no face, man. And it will come hit you. It will come in your house. How about on your job? How about your supervisor? How about... Payroll. How about yeah. who? I mean, just. <laughs> she said payroll. Yeah. Uh, she said payroll. Yeah. Somebody is messing with the checks and you need to get out of that right now. See, you got serious right yeah. there. I'm going to say, who in payroll has the mental issue? Because we need to stop that right now. Yes. <laughs> mm. Mental illness is, is real, real, and the stigma that goes with it is mm. even realer. But we, I know we're out of time. We're going to have to do a mental health. Uh, mental we need health. to do it. Yes, yes. 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 We need to do it. Thank you guys for joining us. Thank you, too, thank sir. You. Yes, we're going to close it out. We're going to close it out. Let's hear good people. We want to thank you, first of all, for tuning in each week. Mm -hmm. Without you, there is no us. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, what we want to, we always close it out with this saying. We want you to keep living, keep yes. giving, keep, giving. keep laughing, yes. and keep, most of all, Keep loving. I know I added some, right. Andre. Yeah. Yeah. I know I added some, but I'm a comedian, so laughing is in there, okay? <laughs> yeah. All right, she's gonna kill me so. now. <laughs> will you stick to what I tell you? You know that? That's, that's, the, that's the TV like, wife, you know, behind the scenes. You stick to what I tell you? How I tell you? You remember this? <laughs> all right. That's right. Take our lead. Thank you all for tuning in. Also, can I get a shot of my technician, my new technician behind the scenes? <laughs> 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 Mikhail, and what else is your name, sir? Yeah. A fever. A fever. A fever. Yes, and, and, and my daughter, Mikhail. Turn my Mikhail, Mikhail. Can, 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 can you come, come, up here, come up here? here. Come, 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 come up here. Come up here. Come up here. Come up here. The youngest technician in the right. DMV. She's not there doing like this, ho. That's right. Come on up here. Come yes, on. come on, Sweet beautiful. Pie. Come on up here. Yeah. Yeah. Five seconds. Come on up here. This is my latest technician that yes. helped the person that makes the show go. Mikhail, yeah. say your name. Go ahead, say your name. My name is Mikhail. Oh, right. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs>